For this introduction to Android, we're going to show you how to set up Moto Blur on a Moto Blur device. During the holiday season, there's a lot of Moto Blur devices to choose from, including the Motorola Defy on T-Mobile, which we're going to use for this demonstration, the Motorola Citrus on Verizon, and the Motorola Flipside, Flipout, and Bravo on AT&T. They all carry Motorola's signature user interface, or UI, Moto Blur, which allows connecting to your favorite social media sites quick and easy and at a fingertip. When you get a new Moto Blur device, before you can even put your Google account on, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. Basically telling you, welcome to Moto Blur. And the first thing it's going to ask you, of course, is if you want your langu language to be English, and I do. From there, we're going to register a new account and agree to the Motorola Terms of Service. First, we're going to put our name in under new account. The Motorola Defy comes with a swipe keyboard, which makes that a breeze. And here we put in our email address. Next, we're going to create a password. Right now, it's creating your Moto Blur account, which ties all of your social media together, provides backup access, and the ability to remotely wipe your phone. Motorola Moto Blur has featured this since it came out last year on the Motorola Click. Our Motorola Blur account has been created successfully. Hit next. And here you can set up existing accounts from MySpace, Facebook, Last.fm, Twitter, Corporate Email, Corporate Sync, Picasa, Photo Bucket, Yahoo Mail, a T-Mobile account, and a Google account. Right now we're also going to put in our Google account. We already have a Google account, so we're going to hit sign in. On the Google account page, you can use a regular old Gmail account or any account hosted by Google Apps. So if your website or business has a Google Apps account, you can put that there also. You want to use your most frequent or your primary Google account so that you can access your market, your Gtalk, your Google Mail, Gdocs, and now Google Reader. It's going to tell us it could take up to five minutes, but usually this process is very quick. Next, we're going to add our Facebook, and it's telling me to fully integrate Facebook into your mobile experience. Hit click Add Account, and we're going to put our Facebook account in. We've entered the email address for our Facebook account and password. Now it's syncing Facebook to Moto Blur. It's telling you now you can catch all your friends' Facebook ad updates in the social networking app. The social networking app brings together updates, uploaded photos, friend requests, and more. So let's check it out. Finally, we're going to set up Twitter. Although later I'm going to add my favorite Twitter app, which is Hootsuite. For the purposes of this Moto Blur demonstration, I'm adding my Twitter account to Moto Blur. We're going to go here and say that we are done adding accounts. On that last screen, it was asking where we want to import our pictures for contacts from. I'm going to use Facebook since I have far fewer Facebook friends than followers on Twitter. Now it's asking for location consent. We're going to skip the instructional video and let the Defy load. Okay, now we're looking at the Moto Blur widgets. On the left hand side is Messages, which shows your SMS. There's an Updates icon or widget on the right side and Recent Status Updates. Update now on the top. That's your broadcast box. So you want to tell people what you're doing? I know our camera's bad, but our update says Testing Moto Blur on the Motorola Defy. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button to get rid of the keyboard and hit post and it says all services by the bull which means it's going to go to both my Facebook and my Twitter at the same time and it was successfully updated here these two right here are quick access to buddies or favorite people this is your calendar icon right here is family updates blast which is a quick share and family room panel it says launch the family room wizard to begin configuration we'll play with that one later up top here is the music icon. All your music can be played with that widget. And there's a weather widget, calendar widget. Over here we have tips and tricks and getting started. And Moto Blur lets you have access to your most usable settings at the top here. Now the great thing with Moto Blur is you can move them around any way that you want. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this because we got started already. And line these up by simply moving them around the screen 
that I've turned Wi-Fi on, turn it back off. The other thing we're going to show you real quick is you can customize the size of your Moto Blur widgets by just dragging them out like that. So now that update box is a more horizontal box than a vertical box. And you can do that with any of the Moto Blur widgets. There's no recent updates or so that's saying. That's Moto Blur in a nutshell, and I'm sorry that this video has been so Moto Blurry, but if you have questions, you can write intro to Android at thedroidguide.com. That's intro to Android at thedroidguide.com. I hope that tells you a little bit about how you can get started with Moto Blur.